Hi guys, Psycho Traveller here. As you can see, I'm sat in a tree and thanks to my little gorilla pod, I can film from anywhere. It's amazing and I'm making the branch wobble. I do apologize for this. When you get to Australia, you'll realize just how expensive the cost of living here is. But if you're sensible and you plan ahead, you can do it on a budget. So I'm gonna show you a $10 a day challenge from every city I visit and travel. My first example is coffee. I do like my tea, I do like my coffee, and the average you're gonna pay, especially in Melbourne, is about $3.50. That's quite a lot on a $10 a day challenge. So you will find a lot of 7-Elevens around, and there you can get a $1 coffee. And to be honest, on a $10 a day challenge, that is perfect. It's cheap, it's cheerful, and it gets the job done. When it comes to food, you'll find that eating out can be majorly expensive and you will blow a lot of your budget trying to eat out. So the only thing I can suggest for this is you self-cater. Make sure that you have a hostel which has a kitchen. Australia is kind of designed as hostels for long-term stayers, so they don't have pretty good kitchens. Get yourself to one of the biggest supermarkets, either Coles or Woolworths, and from there you can pick yourself up some food and cook your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Take your lunch out with you. Get yourself a little sandwich bag or a little lunch box, and you can take it on the go and it'll save you a lot of money doing it that way obviously it's nice to treat yourself when you go away um, but if you can't afford the big high-end restaurants in Australia then getting yourself to a little bakery they can make you a little sandwich and fill it full of meats and salads and sauces and it'll set you back about four dollars so that's really not that bad I am currently filming at a place called Abbotsford Convent and there is a place here called Lentil as Anything. Now, I have wrote a blog about this and I'll put the link down in the description box for this. Basically, Lentil as Anything has a philosophy on honesty. You pay what you can afford or you pay what you think it deserves. So when you queue up, you drop a little few coins or a few notes into the box and then you grab yourself a plate and you pile on the food. You get pudding, you get coffee, you get drinks. So it is absolutely amazing. This is a traveler's dream in this place and it's a bit of a hippie place as well so if you like that get yourself down to lentil as anything you can get some really cheap meals it's a great atmosphere if you come at night then they have live music and if you want to go up and have a jam then just plug your guitar into the amp and get started and it is just fantastic I love this place attractions I always say they can be really expensive and when you come to a big city then you could pay a pretty penny for a lot of things to do but I found in Melbourne there are a lot of free attractions to be honest for example the Memorial Center botanical gardens and if you have a student ID or some sort of concessionary pass then getting into the Melbourne Museum is also free. I have been there twice. If you follow my blog you will know that I love it there. Um, as you know I have a history in psychology. They have a huge biology section, evolution, psychiatry. It is absolutely immense and getting in there free that can easily take a couple of days uh, to go around that place. So look out for the free attractions. There's something called um, Eureka Sky Deck and it's $18 to get in and up to the top and if you want to get out onto the ledge that's an extra twelve dollars that is thirty dollars to see pretty much nothing if you go to the memorial center you can climb to the top for free and get a vista of melbourne from there so i know which one i choose it's easy to spend ten dollars a day here and that might sound like impossible but i'm not including smoking or drinking into this smoking in australia is really really expensive and the price of cigarettes and tobacco are quite astonishing but when it comes to drinking if you get yourself a bottle of five dollar wine it comes with a horrendous hangover free of charge for you the next day and after a couple of glasses you can't actually taste how bad this wine is so don't be fussy when you get here otherwise if you're going to be fussy you're going to pay extra but if you want to go out and have a drink in a bar which you're going to want to do a glass of wine and cbd or around fitzroy on brunswick street where i stay is about seven dollars so it's not too bad that's kind of what you'd pay out here getting around I'd suggest either you walk around the city it's really easy to walk it's really easy to find your way around the place um, and definitely pick yourself up a Mikey card because that will allow you to get on all the buses and trams you just top it up if you're a student you can get concession uh, rates which is like half price of what you would normally pay so that too is fantastic I found you can have general living on $10 a day. As I said, it doesn't include smoking, it doesn't include heavy drinking either and partying. So if you're up for that, you've got to take into account that kind of pricing. Um, and also if you want to do any excursions, I did the Great Ocean Road yesterday, which cost me about 10 days worth of money, uh, just under maybe. Uh, but it was an amazing experience and you can counteract for that. So some days I found I spent nothing Maybe I just grabbed a couple of coffees from 7-eleven done a free few attractions 
free attractions, free attractions, I'm sorry, free attractions, couple of coffees from 7-Eleven and literally I spent two dollars and I've had an amazing day packed start to finish full of things to do. So yeah, Melbourne, really expensive but if you plan ahead you can really make it work on a budget. So I'm going to climb down from my tree now and I will post this up on YouTube shortly. Uh, don't forget to check out one of my other videos which I would have put up before this and I go around interviewing loads of people in Fitzroy which is a suburb in Melbourne about the fashion, the food and the music. So check that out. I will pop it in an annotation somewhere on this screen for you and I will probably talk to you next when I'm in Sydney which I'm moving on to on Monday and I'll show you the prices there as well. Okay, so love you lots of my little psychos. I'm going to jump down and break my leg now. Love you!